Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Super Town Super Audio Show. Today we are back here doing the next installment of the Where to Go in Singapore if you want to buy earphones segment. So today we are at Sim Lim Square and I'm going to show you how to get to Sim Lim Square from the nearest MRT which is Rocher MRT. In the past you used to be able to come from Bugit, you still can, but right now that is the longer option. Rocher is the place to be and let's go. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to get to Sinim Square from Roger and Matthew. Just follow me. Come, let's go. And we are here. It's just over there. Okay, so we are here at the first shop, we are at Sam Audio. Now, Sam Audio is the place to be in Singapore if you are looking for chai fi stuff. They carry brands such as, well, Moondrop, of course, uh, Punch Gym, is that how you pronounce it? The one that I can never pronounce. As well as desktop decks such as Topping, uh, Person, SMS, and all that good stuff. And now we're going to check them out. So if you think this anime girl waifu looks extremely familiar, it looks like a particular someone who has many many followers but female and listening to earphones. I'll plop his face for just a quick second just so that you can have an idea who I'm talking about. But yeah, cool. The girl of my dreams. Now I'm inside Sam Audio and if you know this place in Singapore, good on you because this is the de facto place for a lot of chai fi products. Sam Audio carries brands such as Dunu, Moondrop, uh, Tanjim, which is the name I can hardly pronounce, amongst others including, I think they also have uh, NF Audio, they have the SMSL topping amongst others. So let's go through some of the top models from each brand. So one of the brands that is extremely popular here in Singapore would be Moondrop and Moondrop is one of the brands that I've actually covered previously including the variations. So this is the Solaris. Now the Solaris is very interesting because I think it's one of the first planner earphones from Moondrop that has recently dropped. I haven't heard how does it sound yet and I'm very excited to try. Another one is a classic favourite which is the Arias. Now the Arias are one of those that is an easy recommendation for anybody who is just starting out. They have a very nice um, neutral warm tone that I think most maybe 80 to 90 percent of people can really enjoy uh, apart from the cables i think it's a truly great im if you get them one of the greatest suggestions is to just change the cable but apart from that it is truly an excellent starter now for dunu dunu is another brand that i absolutely love as i mentioned before right now they have the latest vulcan which i'm so excited to try but apart from that if you are looking at the entry level they have the titan s now the titan s is one of those that my good friend Timmy told me that this is actually quite excellent. I haven't tried them yet, but I will do so shortly. So the next brand that they carry is Tanjim, which is, I'm not sure how to pronounce it as I mentioned before, but you know, now on their boxes, they feature another white haired waifu. Okay, so oh, for those of you who like Amelia from ReZero, I think um, if you can't get her, you can probably get the box of this, which is kind of close and kind of nice. But anyways, with regards to Tanjim, the Tanya is extremely popular for an entry-level model. It is also neutral warm. I think it packs enough details for the price and it's an excellent no-brainer starter. And lastly, we have Topping. Sam Audio actually also carries Topping. Now, Topping is one of the brands that I absolutely adore, especially if you have you know, a tight budget and you want a very, very decent deck amp. The Topping D90 is one of those for you to consider. It is actually very feature-rich and it can even do MQA as well. So if you're using active speakers, you can run it through XLR directly into the speakers and it will sound fantastic. We are done with Sam Audio. Right now, we're heading to the next shop. Let's go.
Hi ladies and gentlemen, you know, one of the things that I like about Saloon Square is that there is this place called Zeppelin & Co. If you are feeling thirsty, you can come here for a drink. They serve really nice coffee. And not only that, you can listen to awesome earphones all at the same time. Today, we're going to check out what are some of their amazing offerings. Let's go. You know, me being my size, there's a certain reason for it and I'm not blaming these guys behind me because they certainly, they certainly are part of the reason why I'm this size. But enough of that. Today, one of the products that Zeppelin & Co actually feature is from Hybe. Now, in my hand, I have the Hybe RS2. You've watched the channel, you already know that I'm actually a big fan of Hybe. I personally use the RS6. Now they have their littlest brother, the RS2. Now the RS2 is, you know, one of the smallest DAPs that features R2R inside. It is quite a little dainty thing that provides a bucket of sound, especially with like that organic R2Rness that comes along with it. This is quite amazing. And it's really tiny, it's so cute. It's a grower, not a shower, definitely. So, the next product, you know, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not the best person to talk about it because I do not know so much about it. I'm going to get somebody, my good friend Tian Ping, who actually works at Zeppelin & Co, to introduce it to you guys. Hey, Tian Ping, don't run away. Come, I'm going to grab you, okay? Okay, okay. Okay. So now this is, as you can see, this is Tian Ping. He's my good friend. He is, he is going to talk to you guys about the DX170, which I have no clue on. Let's go. Hi, okay, so, re quick introduction, this is the Ibasso DX170, as you can see, pretty decently small size, portable. Uh, this is considered to be the entry level player uh, from Ibasso. Another shower, not a grower. Uh, you could say that, yes, exactly. <laughs> um, and by entry level, we mean uh, a price point that's very affordable. Uh, this is currently retailing for $5.99 sing. Uh, Pretty decent entry point for people who are looking to get into uh, more higher end, more serious portable audio gear. So, Tim, what's so special about it? Uh, this is actually running a dual Sirius Logic uh, CS41 uh, 43131 uh, chip on it, and it's actually pretty decently powerful. I mean, it's just a very simple player to use. It's running a uh, full Android, so you can actually just go on to uh, Play Store as well. And if you have any streaming needs, this will handle it. So that means, can I like just use my Apple Music account and download my Apple Lossless songs on it and play it? Oh yes, definitely. You just go to the App Store, download the Apple Music app, and you're good to go. Build me one now. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, Zeppelin & Co carries one of the brands that I adore absolutely, that is Kain. So now Kain actually released their Gigantalongus DAP called the N8 Mark II. Now the N8 Mark II, personally I've heard it, I really like it. If I had three kidneys, I'd sell one just to get it. Uh, it features a very lovely tube section that is oh so musical. I wish I could afford it though, but it is absolutely great. So. As you can see, this is really a brick. Lah. It's, it's quite huge, you know. If you put it in my pants, I think you have... I think people think I have a ginormous bulge, but um, yeah. It is fully Android now, so your Apple Music goes on it. You can listen to Lossless on it, and it has a lot of power. Uh, it's absolutely organic. So if you're the type of people like Tubi songs, such as uh, Theresa Tang, or even Weep Music, it will sound ultra smooth as well. I absolutely love this. My... Precious. It's never be the same again. Zeppelin Co. also carries the final ZE2000. If you think that the name is similar, that's because they actually did release the ZE3000 before the 2000. Now, what difference do they have? The ZE2000 sounds slightly leaner compared to the ZE3000 and it does not have the shibo finish, you know, that finish on cameras that you get. It doesn't have the same finish. On the very nice grey finish of the ZE2000, it actually has a very nice soft touch texture feel that does not feel rubbery at all. Sorry, I'm only doing that bad high tea lao rendition of the thingamajig because this is the Symphonium Audio Meteor. Now the Meteor is one of those IEMs that I kind of enjoy. Inside it is four balance armatures mated to a three-way crossover. 
basically the Meteor is actually very U-shaped sounding. Now that's not really a bad thing. In fact, I find it quite a breath of fresh air in the realm of everything being very mid-centric and warm. And because of that, it gives you a very good sense of space. Soundstage is amazing on the Meteor. So if you are in town in Singapore and you really want to try the cake out, I highly recommend Zapianko. I'm actually waiting for my order, but um, between you and me, I'm not supposed to eat cakes because I'm getting fat, I'm on a diet, but hey, you do you. But hey, the cakes here, I would actually forgo my diet just for them. And with that said, thank you so much for watching the Super Chunk Super Audio Show. I hope you like the journey through the different areas in Singapore on where to buy portable audio. So definitely check out Sam Audio and Zeppelin Co. when you are in Sydney Square. They are awesome places. And if you like content so hard, please kindly press the like and subscribe button somewhere here. Um, if you press it, then maybe I'll eat more cake and see me get fat. But hey, who knows? Thank you guys for watching. See you guys soon.